in this quick walkthrough, I'm going to show you how using Tyke's developer portal, you can dynamically register OAuth2 clients with a third party identity provider using a standard called dynamic client registration or DCR for short. And so what that means is rather than your consumer community um, having either having direct access themselves to register OAuth2 clients in your IDP or perhaps you registering um, those clients on their behalf, um, they can actually they can come directly to the developer portal um, to register those clients. And this is the place where they're already coming to view what APIs you've made available to them into a catalog where they can browse the documentation, the getting started guides about those APIs, where they can actually try out those APIs and subscribe to access those APIs. So it would make sense that they would also use this developer portal um, to register their OAuth2 clients. And so I'm going to be using Keycloak as my third party identity provider. Um, Tyke also supports dynamic client registration with Glue and Curity and Okta, but we're going to be using Keycloak for the purposes of this demonstration. Depending on the particular IDP, you might need what's known as uh, an initial access token to support DCR and Keycloak is one of those IDPs where uh, an initial access token is required. So let me just quickly create one. I'll copy that and save it for later. OK, right. So we've created the initial access token. Now, um, before I head over to the developer portal and start going through the flow whereby we register an OAuth2 client, um, what I'll do first is I'll create a new API in Tyke that we're going to protect. Uh, so it's going to be RESTful. It's going to proxy to a third party uh, request response service that lives out on the Internet. We're going to require um, a token, uh, a, a JSON web token to access this API at runtime. Tyke supports a bunch of different authentication tokens out of the box. Uh, but as I say, we're going to be using JSON web token to protect this API at runtime. And this this JSON web token is actually going to be issued by Keycloak by our IDP. Um, when we receive a request on Tyke, we're going to validate that token. We're going to check that the consumer uh, actually has access to um, the resource they're requesting, uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll let them through. Um, so we'll configure a signing method. So we're going to use RSA public key rather than pasting the public key. We'll use the uh, JWKS URI that I'm getting from the uh, OpenID Connect well-known endpoint for Keycloak. Let's paste that in there. We also need to define what's called a security policy in Tyke. And that security policy is basically going to allow me to define which consumers have access to this API, uh, with what rate limits, what quota, etc. So I'll, I'll save that now and we'll come back there once we've created a policy. Uh, so the policy is going to, I could give access to a bunch of APIs or particular paths within an API if I wanted, but I'll just give access to the API we just created. And then let's also, let's say, give them a rate limit of 100 requests per minute. We'll give this a name. Let's say the keys never expire. And now if I head back to the API that I created earlier and we'll 
will complete the JOT configuration for that API by selecting the policy that we've just created. So update that. Um, next, I want to actually publish this API to be discoverable in my developer portal catalog. And to do that from the left nav in type dashboard, I'm going to navigate to catalog and we'll add a new entry. And let's just call it DCR demo. We'll select the policy that we just created. Give a bit of descriptive text. Um, I could also attach open API spec documentation here from, from where the consumers could try it, but we'll, we'll skip that. What I do want to also um, configure here is my key cloak DCR settings. And rather than doing it globally for the whole of Tyke, um, I'll just set that on this particular API definition. Um, and we'll select the provider as being key cloak. We'll say this is client credentials grant type. Um, the token endpoint auth method for key cloak, we should select client secret post. Um, the response type will be authorization code. Um, and then I also need to provide my IDP host. So let me just copy that. I need a client registration endpoint, which again, I should be able to find in my well-known endpoint. And then we need that initial access token that we created earlier. So I'm hoping that's what we needed. Hit save, okay. So into the developer portal now. If I just refresh my catalog, I see that we now have a, a new entry that we've just created, DCR demo. And so we can now go through the flow to register an OAuth2 client. So let's say create first client, um, select the APIs that we want to actually connect. So I'm just going to select the DCR demo API that we just created, give it a name. Um, we can skip the redirect URL for this example and just hit create. And what's happened is uh, under the covers, Tyke has made a, a call out to Keycloak. It's registered a client in Keycloak and Keycloak has, has returned a client ID and secret. Um, and so what I can do now um, is actually request an access token from Keycloak and then use that access token to call the API that we published on Tyke. So let's head over to Postman and we will obtain an access token. And so I'm using here um, a Postman collection for Keycloak that just makes using Keycloak uh, really easy. It's really cool. Um, so this is the endpoint that I want to use. I want to call the token endpoint on Keycloak, uh, provide a client ID and secret that we've now got in Tyke. Paste the secret in. We've now got an access token, so I can copy that. And then we will configure a request to the API that we created earlier. So I'll pop that token in there. The path to that API I can find either in the developer portal or I'm just going to use my dashboard. 
copy that path. I know there's a get path on there, so I'll use that. So we're now going to send a request to the API that we secured on Tyke, providing the access token that was registered, uh, that was issued by Keycloak, uh, and that's returned uh, as data. We've got a 200 response. Um, everything's working as it should. Uh, that's everything. Thanks.